Well, I have another topic that I would like to discuss, and that is uh, missing children. Um, I was reading a a novel uh, last week, and I came across an article that was written in this book, and this book mentioned a fact that kind of surprised me. I, um, I remember... Well, first off, I'll tell you what what I read in the book. It said, in, in the year 2008, in the state of Texas, there were 57,000 children reported missing. And it said, in 2008, the uh, Highway Patrol in Texas, the Texas Rangers or whoever uh, d- does the uh, highway checks, in nearly 3 million uh, uh Attempts at stopping cars, you know, for you know speeding or uh, you know, not using a turn signal or whatever it was, and nearly three million automobile stops, not one of these fifty-seven thousand kids were were discovered. So those fifty-seven thousand kids um, disappeared in two thousand eight, never to be seen again, and that made me um, want to look up a little bit of. Uh, more about the missing children. And I remember when I used to watch uh, Magnum P.I. with Tom Selleck and, uh, you know, way back you know, in the original series, the uh, uh, the guy who was the bartender um, was studied to try to find out what happened to missing children. And he said that on the order of 2 million American kids went missing every every year back in the 90s. And I thought, well, boy, you know, I mean, there was like three million that reported, but a million were found, but on the order of two million kids, um, completely disappeared. So anyway, this morning I just uh, thought I'd go online and and do a check. And here's um, a website. It's called the Global Missing Children Network. Uh, uh, it's uh, globalmissingkids.org awareness slash missing children statistics. And it says, uh, the lack of common definition of missing child and a common response to the issue results in few reliable statistics on the scope of the problem around the world. But it says, uh, even with this challenge, we know that in Australian, in Australia, an estimated 20,000 children are reported missing every year, according to the Australian Federal Police National Coordination Center in Canada, an estimated 45,288 children are reported missing each year. In Germany, which isn't a whole lot bigger than one of our states, estimated 100,000 children are reported missing each year. In India, an estimated 96,000 children go missing each year. In Jamaica, uh, that tiny little island of Jamaica, they have about 2,000 children uh, go missing every year, uh, and uh, 1,984 children were, were reported missing in 2015. In Russia, 45,000 children were, were reported missing in 2015. In Spain, 20,000 children. The United Kingdom, you know, home of the shape-shifting uh, reptilian government, uh, an estimated 112,853 children reported missing every year in the U.K., and in this particular article, it says in the United States, an estimated 460,000 children are reported missing every year, according to the FBI. All right. So this is just one interesting report. Now, I, I found another interesting website, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it's called ascensionglossary.com. That's the website that I got this on. And it's it's quite interesting, actually. It's... um about human well it starts out talking about human trafficking and hang on hang on a second i gotta get a drink it says uh human trafficking is the sale or barter for humans into slavery by other humans and non-humans get that non-humans it says uh federal laws define human trafficking as sex trafficking in which a commercial sex act is induced by force, fraud, or coercion um, to a person that has not attained 18 years old 
or the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, or obtaining of a person for labor or services throughout the use of through the use of force, fraud, or coercion for the purpose of subjection to involuntary servitude, peonage, debt bondage, or slavery. It says this is a massive epidemic on planet Earth, and it also exists off planet Earth and is referred to as the galactic human slavery. slavery. Generally, a person is called for certain purposes and then abducted, captured from their families, or sold or bartered for many purposes, including manual slave labor, sex trade, engineering, and manufacturing. The person is mind-controlled under a system of threats, intimidation, and torture to remain compliant and submissive to the acts they are forced to perform for their handlers, who may be human or non-human entities. Many of these tra- human trafficking crime games work from lists of desired people to be obtained that have specific skills or physical descriptors. Children are considered valuable to both human and non-human pedophiles who place an order for the type of child they want to use as, sex- as a sex slave. Those that recruit or find these slavery orders for profit may be elderly looking or professional people that appear normal and non-threatening. It says, human trafficking, organized crime operate in every country. Often children or women are abducted right off the street. In poverty-stricken third-world countries, children are grabbed from inattentive parents and offered a few hundred dollars to take the child. And uh, it says, this level of human trafficking brings in many hundreds of thousands of people per year into the slave trade, both on and off the planet. It says, currently, the world slavery system is used to parasitize soul energy, but also to superimpose karmic exchanges on the masses. And it is an important reason the NAA fight so hard to retain their control and access over Earth and the inhabitants. The humans controlled by the NAA have Stockholm Syndrome and have been dehumanized to such levels of fragmentation. They act like a feral animal cornered in a cage, defending their enslavement, not how they can exist in any way else but to be in the mind control matrix meshed in a codependent parasitism, parasitism with these dark forces. Right, so the question is, who traffics these children? It says, uh, many individuals can be involved in tra- trafficking of a child, including recruiters, intermediaries, document providers, transporters, corrupt officials, service providers, and employers. Trafficking Operations can function as a corporation, small groups of well-organized criminals, or even amateurs who provide a single service. These organizations service both on planet and some more covert organizations are involved with bartering with extraterrestrials who want human children as their plaything. It says uh, there is, for off-planet trade and bartering, it says, there is no currency or financial system that is used between spacefaring civilizations, so everything is based on bartering. Some ETs are interested in some of Earth's art, uh, historical pieces, uh, luxury items, uh, animal and plant life, while many are interested in trading their technology and biological specimens they have obtained elsewhere for human beings. These humans are used for many purposes, including manual slave labor, sex trade, engineering, manufacturing, and and we are well known with, for the ability some of us have with certain technical skill sets. There are some of the ETs that use humans as food resources in various ways. The secret government and their syndicates discovered that a large amount of humans were being taken off the planet by various ETs anyway, so they decided to find a way to profit from it and have control over which people were being taken. In prior arrangements, they were made promises of receiving technologies and biological specimens for allowing groups to abduct humans, but the ETs rarely delivered on their promises. Once they had developed the advanced infrastructure in our solar system, along with advanced technologies, that some of the thousands of ET groups traveling through our system are now interested in obtaining and now have had the ability to deter most unwelcome guests from entering Earth's airspace, the Cabal ICC then decided to use human trafficking as one of their 
resources and interstellar bartering. Now, it's kind of interesting. It says, uh, Prison Planet, the Guardian host, has revealed the alien machinery, the, the NETs that are used for conscious wiping all planetary inhabitants, bringing attention to the false light used in false ascension matrix, as well as repeated cycling of souls that are routed into consciousness traps that made Earth a prison planet. During the ascension cycle, the crystal star guardians are essentially on a rescue mission to help plan the planet ascend and liberate souls on the Earth from mind control and these artificial intelligence false timeline propagation. All right, so, um, and here's one that's kind of up um, uh, a little bit about the Ryans. There are currently spiritually disconnected human humans existing on the Earth that will be assimilated into synthetic life forms that appear as extraterrestrial biological entities, EBEs, but were actually human souls and human bodies in past lifetimes. Many of these EBEs were once humans that were involved in the Orion Wars, which uh, Claudie knows about, and were captured in Orion and used in worker colonies. Some from the Earth were enslaved on the astral plane by other races of creatures, such as the mantids, gray aliens, and reptilians, that took them as workers to other planetary systems. Some are even used as minions for carrying out human abductions in my lab's soul transference projects. Many of them had their consciousness erased, and they do not remember that they were once human. So anyway, that's kind of a, an interesting uh, overview of what's happening um, to a lot of the kids. I, I have one other small report here. I can find it. Um, this says, uh, where, where are these millions of missing children and adults going? Uh, here's a little synopsis. It says, every 40 seconds, a child goes missing in the United States. When a child goes missing, the first three hours are the most crucial in finding the child safely. Approximately 76.2% of abducted children in the United States who are murdered are dead within three hours of abduction. Every year, more than 800,000 children are missing in the United States. In 1980, roughly 150,000 people reported missing per year. The number is now 900,000. Over 2,300 Americans are reported missing every day. Um, and most jurisdictions, missing person cases receive low priority. Authorities are already swamped with homicides, robberies, rapes, assaults, traffic issues, and crime prevention. Um, and uh, there are as many as 100,000 active missing persons cases in the U.S. at any time. Out of 692,944 people reported, reported missing in 2010, 531,000 of them were under the age of 18. Um, now, on a, on a bigger scale, it says it is estimated that at least 8 million children worldwide go missing each year. It is estimated that nearly 800,000 children will be reported each year in the U.S., 40,000 children go missing each year in Brazil, and so on. I read a little bit about that earlier. Um, and then it says, poor children in many countries, missing children are not even tracked. Um, most, in, in most of the developing world, including Africa, Asia, and Latin America, no one is counting missing children. Additionally, there are no specific laws on missing children, no established protocol, and no central missing child registries. Um, it's... Uh, well, there's a bunch more to this report. But anyway, I just thought that that might be an interesting review. And I, and I, I think that the uh, people need to really wake up to the fact, you know, most people might think that, that kids are, are uh, abducted for sexual trafficking and that sort of thing. But, Claudia, I'd, I'd like you to let people know uh, your angle on missing children and the reptilians. Could you uh, share that with us, please? Yes, thank you. A um, little side note about uh, missing children and persons. One of the things that the Orions 
uh, creatures can do or have the ability to do is manipulate time. And why this is important is that, say, a person uh, goes to bed at night, uh, goes to sleep, and uh, is abducted or taken and uh, removed from their bed and taken somewhere to do something either. And some of them uh, are sex, but a lot of times, excuse me, are uh, for uh, slave purposes to work on machinery or equipment or to dig in the mines or whatever. And you say, well, how can that happen? Uh, the next morning, these people wake up and nothing has changed. They, they, they might notice that their clothes are on backwards and, and, and uh, their bed sheets are all on the floor instead of on top of them, which would seem normal. If you had a dream during the night and you throw off your bed sheet, then that would explain that. But the Orions, in particular, can stop or manipulate time. They can take you at, say, 12.31 a.m., take you to a laboratory or a uh, mine or a facility where they're constructing equipment and keep you there for hours, weeks, months, years. Yes, a limited amount of time. Then when they're through with you, they can return you to the exact second you were removed. They stop time and put you back in the bed and in the same condition physically that you were when you were taken. This gives the illusion to the people who are taken that there's nothing wrong, there's nothing unusual. Oh, I had a dream or whatever. They're also returned at the exact stage of age that they were when they were removed. All of this is done with equipment that the Orions possess. They have technology and knowledge way beyond our little physical minds can even comprehend in our wildest dreams. They have so much technology, but they have one thing missing. They don't have enough workers or slaves. So they they go around the, I'm going to say the uh, universe, and look for uh, creatures to use in their mines, laboratories, whatever, and uh, abduct them without uh, any problems doing that. They have no, uh, as you could would say, uh, care about these creatures. They're just we're just cattle to them. A cow is to us. Sometimes people are consumed. The Orions do eat meat products. And they find a lot of humans quite tasty. So, yes, they're uh, never seen again by their families, the ones that are, are taken or abducted. But uh, some of them are consumed. Some of them are workers. These all go hand in hand for their particular agenda. The agenda over the last 20,000 years was a war with the serious constellation inhabitants. They warred with each other because the queen of Orion needed workers, and they wanted the entire Syrian population. So there were, they had great technology, but the one thing the Syrians had that the Orions did not have was the mental capability to manipulate nature, and that is what led to a 20,000-year war. Orions were using technology. The Syrians, defending themselves from this invasion, were using their natural forces. All that happens in our, on our planet Earth that seem a little out of place should be suspect. Everything from the top down, from the government, the religious circles, the scientific circles, all of these uh, operate in these areas who do things that are out of the ordinary or what, not, or what would not be usual uh, fare should be noticed, made, you know, become aware of what's going on around you. Most of us are so busy trying to do our nine-to-five job or go to school and pass the test or whatever that we don't take time to look. Some people now are waking up and looking around to see what's going on. 
it, it's uh, an ongoing project. So this has been going on since humans first appeared on the planet Earth. And you say, well, oh, yeah, right, way back then. How has this happened? Because we are easily deceived. Uh, the ability of Orions to give us mental commands not to remember anything or, or to do a certain act is is intensely enforced. And so humans just, uh, have no defense against it. Well, we just got a warning that we only have 90 seconds left. Maybe that's going to oh. have to end our show today. I don't know how that happened. Okay. But so, uh, okay. we're being... Well, thank you. Today. So uh, I want to thank everybody for participating. And we have 60 seconds. I want to remind everybody to, to sing new you, you, you in uh, 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes in the morning, 15 to a minute. At 15 to 20 minutes at night before you go to bed and ask real guides to show you what is real. And and make sure you sing it instead of chanting it. So um, in the few remaining seconds, I'd like all our guests to uh, finish up by singing New You, You, and then we'll, we'll, we'll call it a show. So I will start. New You. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right, bye now. Bye-bye.